Today we are doing a pick a card video for August 2023. I have five cards, so think of your number now. Hi everyone, I'm Donna Stellhorn, your practical astrologer and your practical tarot reader, and I'm the author of Tarot Reading the Natural Way. This is a video course. There is a link in the description. Today we are doing a pick a card video. This card is going to represent the challenges and opportunities that you have coming up in August. And so think of a number between one and five and we'll get started. If you chose card number one, you get the Page of Pentacles. Now, this is a very interesting card because this means that you have a money opportunity, but for some reason, you are balancing this on your fingertips. It feels like you're not embracing it. You're not taking it in. And so perhaps you feel it's outside your comfort zone. Perhaps you're not sure if it's something you should take. So, but it's there and it's being presented to you as this opportunity. Now, even when we look at the card, we can see that the page's feet are pointed different directions. So again, we have this indecision, this uh, this idea that you could, you know, take off in a different direction. Be be but because the pentacle is just balanced on your fingertips, if you do take off in a different direction, it's so easy for the pentacle to fall, for the opportunity to be lost. So before you, you know, take any sort of action, think this through. There may be something that you're not seeing clearly. And so ask yourself, what is the financial opportunity that is right here for the taking? And then once you have it firmly in your hands, then you can take action. If you chose card number two, you get the fool. This is actually one of the best cards in the deck. I think a lot of people misinterpret this card because they associate the fool with foolishness and that has a negative connotation. But the tarot, the images that we see are based on a court system. And that is the idea that there is a king and a queen and the whole court. Now, in a court, the king has the ultimate say. And that means that anyone who would come to the king with any sort of information risks their life. But this would also mean that the king would not get true information. And so the king wanted to have a source of information where the person was not afraid. And so this is the role of the fool. The fool is that the person who could say anything or do anything uh, around the king and never be killed. And so therefore, this is the wisest of the council, but it's done in this sort of fun and happy way. So because the fool is also entertaining. And so the energy of this card is being able to take an action and trusting that it's all going to work out. And so we see this image in the card of the fool who is dressed in this beautiful outfit uh, who is wandering the countryside. He has his knapsack over his shoulder and he's got his faithful dog companion there. And to us, it looks like he is not paying attention and that he's just going to walk off that cliff. But because he's the fool, something happens to alert him to say, no, I, you know, like he'll stop or he'll turn or something happens and he is protected. And so whatever it is that you're working on that you might be hesitating about where you say, oh, it's I, I can't do this because it's too hard or I, I don't know if I'll be successful or I need to work on it more so I can be perfect. It's time to let that go and just follow your instincts. Just follow the sun in, in you know, like just go have a good time. And what happens is that whatever it is you need falls into place. If you chose card number three, you get the nine of pentacles. So this is a beautiful card. Uh, it's, it's one of the happiest cards that there is. So what this card is about is it shows this woman, she's in her garden and this garden is flourishing. Uh, we can see all the pentacles. We can also see the grapes and grapes represent having both the, the nutrition that you need, but also the fun because grapes can be made into wine. And this woman is with her faithful companion, 
her falcon. So we know that this is a falcon because it has a little hood on his head. So this is a bird of prey, a bird that one would send out to go and fetch something. And so here's this woman in this beautiful garden. And so this is uh, the universe telling you that you have abundance in your life. Uh, you have basically the things that you've asked for, the things that you need. And so you may not have, you know, like the perfect house, but you have a house. You may not have the best car, but you have maybe a car or a bike or, you know, two feet that can carry you to the place. So you have all of this abundance. And so this is asking you to be mindful and to be in gratitude for what it is that you have. And first, by acknowledging it, you will see how much you do have. And by focusing on the abundance, then more abundance comes. Now that also, we need to remember that you have the falcon. You can take off his little hood and send him out for whatever it is that you want. And so that is that there, there is more that you can do. You know, you can gain more in your life, even with all of the abundance that you have. So over the course of this month, you know, be in gratitude for what you have. Notice the abundance because like attracts like, and that will bring more, but also pick your individual wishes and send your mind out to go get those to figure out how that can happen in your life. If you pick card number four, you get the five of swords. So, and before you click off and say, oh, I don't like that card. A lot of people don't like this card. And yet it has some, I mean, it has some real benefits to it. In this card, we see that there is a person in the foreground and they have five swords. And in the background, there are two people who seem to be dejected or who have lost some sort of battle. So in, in the tarot, when you're reading and there are multiple people in the card, you can be all of the people in the card. And in, in some cases you are. Uh, and so that is that you've won some battles, you've lost some battles. And so, and in that, you know, those are two different states of being, but you have experienced them both. But because the winner is in the foreground, right now, there's more opportunity to win. Now, this person has won at least four battles because we assume he came with a sword and now he has five swords. He has so many swords, he can't even carry them all. And so this is so many opportunities to win that it's more than you need. So this also says that you know, in an, in an equal battle or a battle against multiple opponents, you can win. Because if we see, we see two people there, he could have been battling them both simultaneously, but he has four extra swords, so he could have had many more people. So this is saying how powerful you are, how competent you are. Now, a lot of people don't like this card because of the look on the person's face, the, the victor, you know, it's a bit of a smirk perhaps, or, you know, that he's a little too self-satisfied, or maybe you're identifying with the people in the background and feeling like there's sadness. And, you know, even if you won, somebody else lost. So, but it is to remember that in this card, yes, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. So that's one of the things to recognize that it's okay to win because next time you might lose. But also if you're doing battle after battle and now you have more spoils, right? Than you can even carry. It may be time to set that down and, and say, I don't need to do battle after battle. I have enough. If you do need to go into battle, you are very well armed. If you chose card number five, you get the High Priestess. This is a beautiful card uh, showing us a, uh, a woman who is the kind of the balance between intuition and knowledge. 
Uh, we see that because she has the moon at her feet, and so that's intuition. And she also has the full moon in her crown. And, and then she's holding the scrolls, and the scrolls are the knowledge, the information, the laws. And so she is the balance between those. And so what this card is suggesting is that you have the knowledge to do the right thing. You have the understanding to tackle whatever is in front of you. She does it feeling cool and calm and, you know, she knows what she needs to do. And so sometimes, you know, when we are operating in the world, we need a set of rules to follow you know, just guidelines. We may, we may push against those rules at times, but, you know, if we have that philosophy or religion or set of rules, then we have a structure and that is represented by the Torah that she's holding. But then we also have our intuition to say when we move forward on something and when we don't. And so there is something coming up this month for you where you have the knowledge and if you operate within your rules then you are good but you also want to follow your intuition about when to take action and when not to and you're going to do it perfectly you're going to do it absolutely the best way possible and so this is about trusting yourself about understanding that there is this balance between just following your heart and then following your rules or your philosophy and living in that structure. And so whatever is coming up for you this month, you're going to do it brilliantly. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are interested in learning the tarot, I hope you check out my video course. The link is in the description. And stay tuned because Luru wants to say hi.